I used to work at Microsoft before I went to Facebook. And at Microsoft, we used to run experiments occasionally. But it felt like when I went to Facebook, I learned a new way to develop software. Part of that change was the experimentation system made it so that every single change that we shipped was often rolled out gradually, not 200% of users on the same day, kind of you started with 2% and then gradually ramped it up. But what the system also did for you was it helped you understand what the impact on key metrics was for this change you were shipping. In some ways that was very powerful, but it was also very humbling because every single idea that we built, we thought was a great idea, even if whether it was a bug fix or a new feature. But when we actually had metrics that showed us the impact on kind of our KPIs or dashboards that showed us the impact on our KPIs, what we realized was it was probably about a third of our ideas that were actually good on first try. We shipped it and we actually got the KPI wins we were hoping to get. A third of the ideas were actually terrible. The best thing we could do was turn them off for our users. Uh, they either caused cannibalization against something that was more valuable or just degraded the experience in ways we hadn't anticipated. A last third of the ideas just required iteration. We thought it was a good idea, we shipped it, but we didn't necessarily see the impact on metrics that we cared about. And we'd sometimes have to then kind of diagnose and understand why. Maybe users were confused by the new feature. Maybe they weren't realizing there was a new feature they could use. Maybe they, you know, their expectations of it were somewhat different. And we'd kind of have to iterate a little bit to make sure that the users got the value that we thought the feature had for them. A recent example of something like this was with Tabur, a beer subscription company that uh, works in the US. They typically had presented their users with a horizontal feed of different beers that users could swipe through and pick which ones they wanted to add to their car. And they had the hypothesis that switching to a vertical feed, which is what most users are used to when they play with something like Instagram, would be easier for people to get used to. They ran an experiment and the overall metrics for the experiment actually looked positive, which confirmed and validated their hypothesis. But when they sliced results by different classes of users, they saw something unexpected. New users, people that were new to Tabur, loved and reacted really well to the vertical feed. People that had been using Tabur for a while sometimes saw the number of purchases they made dropping when we switched them to a vertical feed. They spent some time trying to understand what was going on and they realized that it might be that users that were already conditioned to a horizontal feed within Tabur weren't as quick to kind of realize the new interaction pattern that they had shipped. They ended up having to kind of iterate on their experience a little bit, you know, offer more cues in the app to make sure it was obvious this was the navigation pattern they had to use, but was a great example of a feature that, you know, even knowing about these three buckets of features, I would have instinctively put in the, oh yeah, this is going to be great when I saw the initial results. But after kind of slicing that data a little bit, you realized you had some more work to do to make sure you know, you weren't leaving a class of users behind.